सर हेलो एंड वेलकम गाइस दिस इज आशुतोष एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज थ्री फेज फुल कन्वर्टर कंट्रोल्ड एस सी आर कन्वर्टर एंड एज यू कैन सी हियर आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर द सर्किट डायग्राम फॉर दिस इन दिस सिम्यूलेशन सॉफ्टवेयर हियर इट इज एंड एट द राइट साइड यू कैन सी द वे फॉर्म्स दीज आर द वे फॉर्म्स ऑफ थ्री फेज सप्लाई साइनोसोडल सप्लाई and here below this you can see the waveform of output voltage this is the waveform of output voltage we are getting so i am putting this beside this circuit and you can see this is the uh, circuit diagram and this is the waveform of three phase fully controlled scr converter so basically what happens three phase full converter is a fully controlled bridge uh, 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 control rectifier using six thyristors connected in the form of full wave bridge configuration here you can see there are six thyristors are used there are three legs of each phase this is a phase you can see this a or r this is b phase the second leg and this is the third leg and this is the third phase connecting over here okay so basically three phase full converter is extensively used in industrial power applications up to about 120 kilowatt output power level where two quadrant operation is required so basically there are three legs and each leg consists of two thyristors so we have named all the thyristors and connected six gating blocks to it you can see this is thyristor number 1 this is thyristor number 3 this is thyristor number 5 and the same leg t1 t4 are connected on the second leg t3 and t6 are connected and here in the third leg t5 and t2 are connected so basically let's explain what is the uh, working of this scr controlled converter so we go to the powerpoint presentation here you can see basically here you can see this is the three phase full wave control rectifier and these are three thyristor these are called positive group of thyristors t1 t3 and t5 and the lower thyristors connected here T4, T6, and T2 are called negative group of thyristors. So during positive half cycle, these thyristors conduct, and during negative cycles, these thyristors conduct. So basically, what happens? These are the three phase supply, and these are the three phases: P, A, V, B, V, C. Okay, the red one is V A phase, blue one is V B, as you can see here. and green one is vc phase and basically the full cycle is of from 0 degree to 360 degree this is the one cycle whole cycle so basically the voltage for a phase vm sin omega t and voltage for vb instantaneous voltage these are vm sin omega t minus 120 vc is vm sin omega t minus 240 degree and as you can see here the line voltage the voltage between phase a and phase b you can calculate here this is v0 va minus vb and that is equal to vab that is line voltage and it leads here you can see phase voltages are va vb vc and line voltages are vab vbc and vca and these are displaced 120 degree with respect to each other and what happens basically line voltage vab vbc and vca lead by 30 degree as you can see in the waveform this is line voltage and which is leading 30 degree from any of the phase uh, voltages with respect to va vb vc respectively okay vab is leading from va phase by 30 degree vbc is leading from vb phase by 30 degree vca is leading vc phase by 30 degree so basically what happens here you can see these are the line voltage waveforms we have uh, i have drawn for you this is vab 
which is 30 degree leading so it starts from here okay 30 degree leading and bbc is like this and vca is like this so basically what happens okay so basically what happens these x point in this uh, uh, sine wave waveform you can see x y and z points are the point where these uh, these are the point of natural commutation uh, of thyristors t1 t3 and t5 okay t1 conducts from here basically this is uh, this is the three phase full wave control rectifier and basically when triggering angle is 0 degree alpha is 0 degree as you can see here alpha triggering angle is 0 degree but omega t but t1 starts conducting from 30 degree from 30 degree up to 150 degree it conducts as you can see here this is thyristor t1 in the first leg t1 starts conducting from 30 degree up to 150 degree so this is the conduction angle and what happens and after turning of this thyristor t3 starts conducting from 150 degree you can see here from 150 degree up to 270 degree and after that when it turned off at z point thyristor number t5 starts conducting from 270 degree up to 390 degree so these are the points okay for positive group of thyristors and you can see these are the points for t2 t4 and t6 triggering when from point t2 okay after 60 degree t uh, t2 starts conducting okay so the conduction angle for t2 is from 90 to 210 degree for t4 it starts conducting from 210 to 3 up to 330 degree omega t and t6 from 330 up to here okay so you can see what happens from this operation from uh, this interval from omega t 30 degree to 90 degree as you can see here there is a gap of 60 degree so 30 degree and 90 degree you can see t1 and t6 are conducting okay you can see here clearly see thyristor t1 is conducting and as well as t6 is conducting okay and rest of the thyristors are not conducting so you can draw the circuit like this t1 and t6 is connected and this is the load so you get output voltage like this v0 equal to va minus vb line voltage vab it becomes line voltage so line voltage we get from the output voltage vab from here to here okay this is the waveform we get at output waveform then moving uh, further as you can see for next cycle of omega t 90 degree to 150 degree okay here 90 degree to 150 degree there is also 60 degree difference between this 90 degree to 150 degree so here t1 and t2 conducts you can see t1 is conducting but here t2 starts conducting okay t1 and t2 and t6 is turned off at here at p point t6 is turned off so here t1 and t2 are conducting so basically these two thyristors are conducting rest of the thyristors are turned off and you can draw the equivalent diagram like this where load is connected and t1 and t2 are short circuited these are working like a short circuit switch and you get output voltage v0 equal to minus vca so basically this is the line voltage but negative sign is there minus vca so we have vac vca we have vca so we have to draw okay opposite VA, vca or vac okay of this waveform opposite to this waveform we have to draw another waveform this is vca and we have to draw minus vca upper side this side so this becomes vac so from here to here this is the output waveform of voltage output voltage so this is called minus vca or vac so we get vab from first interval of cycle and second interval of cycle we get vac then moving further then see from uh, omega t 150 degree up to 210 degree where you can see here from 150 degree 
up to 210 degree thyristor T2 and T3 are conducting. Okay, so you can derive, you can draw the equivalent diagram and you get output voltage equal to VBC. This is VBC and uh, finally we get VBC this much of voltage and this, this is the waveform of output voltage. So, and this is the next uh, uh, cycle of operation where omega t 210 degree to 270 degree 210 degree to 270 degree where t3 and t4 conducts so you get output voltage minus vab so we have vab this is the waveform of vab so draw the opposite waveform of this so you get minus vab or vba so and this is like output waveform then moving further so you get finally this this uh, full converter is called six pulse in one cycle six pulse converter it is called six pulse converter so in one cycle of 360 degree from here to here 360 yeah uh, we get six pulses that's why and this is the output waveform okay now we will move to the psim simulation okay you can see here in psim simulation this this is the waveform we get Okay, this is the waveform we get. Okay, we have connected 6 thyristor and C. We have connected 3 phase sinusoidal uh, AC voltage source. 3 voltages are there for reading voltages. Then we have connected line voltage. We have connected voltage pro for, uh, for measuring line voltage. VAB, VBC. Okay, so here you can see the gating block of first thyristor. The conduction period is from 30 degree to 150 degree. Okay, we have named it G1. So the conduction period for first thyristor 30 to 150. As you can see here, 30 to 150. Okay, for first thyristor 30 to 150 degree. Thyristor number third, you can see 150 to 270. You can see thyristor number third. 150 to 270 this is the conduction angle for third and according to the diagram according to the uh, ppt our powerpoint presentation we have uh, uh, put the values of switching points or conduction angle and this is the uh, conduction angle for thyristor number fifth 270 up to 390 degree and this is the negative group of thyristors g4 the switching points is 210 to 330 then g6 330 to 450 uh, sorry and for g2 90 to 210 and this is the conduction angle and this is the regist pure resistive load i have taken here and this is the voltage probe measuring voltage across this and this is the load current so you can directly go to simulation and run simulation so select all the three sine wave you can add this and then you will get three sinusoidal voltage waveform okay then you select voltage v load and as you can see you will get the same kind of waveform output voltage waveform across pure register what we are, uh, saw earlier in our powerpoint presentation okay so this is the alpha equal to zero degree mode okay now what happens Further you can see, further you can see when alpha is, when alpha is 30 degree, okay, you can put from here when alpha is 30 degree, so you have to change the angle, see alpha is, uh, becomes 30 degree, so what happens, now T1 conducts from 60 to 180, okay. 60 to 180 so you have to change now alpha is 30 degree now you have to change 60 to this uh, in this getting block you have to change the conduction angle now it becomes t1 conducts from 60 to 180 60 so put this value 60 to 180 for thyristor number one then C for thyristor number third. T3 starts conducting from 180 
अप टू थ्री हंड्रेड वन एटी अप टू थ्री हंड्रेड देन फॉर जी फाइव सी हियर वट आर द कंडक्शन एंगल टी फाइव फ्रॉम थ्री हंड्रेड ओके अप टू एट दिस वन ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी थ्री हंड्रेड अप टू फोर ट्वेंटी सो देर इज ए ऑलवेज ए डिफरेंस ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी हियर यू कैन सी सिक्सटी प्लस वन ट्वेंटी इज बिकम्स वन एटी देन वन एटी प्लस वन ट्वेंटी बिकम्स थ्री हंड्रेड देन थ्री हंड्रेड प्लस वन ट्वेंटी इट बिकम्स फोर ट्वेंटी एंड देन फोर जी फोर फायरिस्टर नंबर फोर यू कैन सी फायरिस्टर नंबर फोर कंडक्ट फ्रॉम टू फोर्टी अप टू थ्री सिक्सटी टू फोर्टी अप टू थ्री सिक्सटी देन फॉर थारिस्टर नंबर सिक्स दिस इज थारिस्टर नंबर सिक्स फ्रॉम थ्री सिक्सटी इट स्टार्ट कंडक्टिंग फ्रॉम थ्री सिक्सटी अप टू फोर एटी थ्री सिक्सटी थ्री सिक्सटी एंड यू एड वन ट्वेंटी इन दिस देन यू गेट फोर एट्टी फोर एट्टी एंड लास्ट थारिस्टर जी टू विल कंडक्ट जी टू विल कंडक्ट फ्रॉम वन ट्वेंटी अप टू टू फोर्टी वन ट्वेंटी up to 240 so these are the conduction angles now you can see the waveforms for alpha alpha 30 degree okay so you can see we go to the run simulation and now you can see the waveforms like this okay these are the waveforms in the ppt you also can see this is the waveform final waveform okay this is the waveform when resistor load is connected and these are the line voltages vab vac vbc vba vca okay you can see the calculations and by pausing this video and this is okay so you can see different waveforms so this is alpha 30 degree so you can see this is alpha 30 degree and wave forms for alpha 60 degree you can see here wave forms for alpha 60 degree you can see here and then you can see alpha equal to 90 degree okay and these are the wave forms for pure resistive loads so these are the wave forms of pure resistive load you are getting at the output across resistive loads and uh, when you put alpha 90 degree alpha equal to 90 degree so what happens you have to change you have to change the conduction period for thyristors alpha 60 degree if alpha is 60 degree so you have to change the conduction angle this is for thyristor 1 from 92 to 10 like this and for alpha 90 degree you have to change alpha omega t 120 degree to 180 like this and you can get all the waveforms so guys that's it for today and our next video we will see the uh, working of three phase full controlled converter with rl load so that's it for today thank you